Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video. We are here in week 10. I know. How do you get to week 10? You were just in week 8. I think it was just in week 8. It was in week 8 or something like that. Because my game did some stupid shit. It really did some stupid shit. It, um, I was recording. It was a very entertaining game. Um, we didn't play it really good. We played alright. Uh, yeah. It was 17-7. to We ended up coming away with a win. We didn't play well on offense at all. Well, at least with Justin Herbert, we didn't. We threw four interceptions, one touchdown. 245 yards, though, but still, we threw horrible uh, passing. I was just saying on offense. It wasn't horrible offense because Kareem Hunt did play well. He had 107 yards, no touchdown, 25 carries. 4.3 on the ground. Um, receiving, it was just Dorian Dell, Cream Hunt really catching it. Their team was kind of everywhere. They kind of had a lot of people catching the ball. Aaron Jones was a big part of the passing game. Kind of, not really. And the thing that kind of saved it for us was our defense. Our defense really did it for us. Uh, Preston Smith was getting to us. Well, Tigers were lost in that sense. Jerry Tillery had one, Chandler also had one, uh, but sacks. So when I came out big was uh, Matt Bryant. Really huge game for him. Really huge game, Matt Bryant. Joey Bosa was in there too. Trayvon Tapp, no Brooks. It was just a lot of people doing really good things. I think we had an intro too. How would you say his name? Aloy? Aloy Gilman. He had two interceptions in that game. And they also had four individually for four people. So yeah, that game didn't get recorded. It was a good game. It was a, I really liked that matchup. It was really good, except for me. The struggling part was not good. So, still 8-0. Um, yeah. Doesn't hurt without looking too good, but it's whatever. Getting to side grades. Speaking of Justin Herbert, here he is. What do you need? I really don't know. I think that's what needs help. Let's see what that does. It boosts to 89. It was close to that last ability. We didn't actually go up one, I guess. So it was 86 now. It's cool, but we really need to get that up. I'm going to start going to field general a lot more now. Kenneth Murray Jr. You just might need, like, pass coverage. Yeah, your zone's almost in the 80. Which is the 88. You're playing up with morale. Plus two to zone, one to man. I like it. Joe Reed, we're trying to get you involved a lot more. You are playing in the slot, so I don't know. Your release could go up. What is that going to be, physical? Nah, it's just going to be deep threat. Physical has release too. Actually does. I love going physical. 84. Will she say 84 now? And your release goes up one. Catch track with two, medium route two, catching one, trucking one for some reason. Matt Bryant, who finally is kind of coming through as that uh, rusher as we wanted. Um, I don't know. I just go what you're good at. Matt, we're going to go run stop since you are that D tackle. And one of your abilities are run stop rather. Plus one to a lot of things, not going to mention all of them. You're a good player. Derwin James. You might need... What is your hit power on? It's not a stat. Oh, it's 91. You still don't make him fumble, though, which I don't like. Let me just go hybrid. I wish you said 86 now. And tackle is four. Man coverage plus one, I guess. I guess. that Those are the upgrades. A little weird, but whatever. Um, we're facing the Broncos. We don't really have much to get into. This is really one of the shortest intros I've ever done. Well, it feels like the shortest intro I've ever done. Um, once again, tight race for the AFC. Well, not really tight race, but tight race for them. I don't even know if it was a tight race for them, honestly. We're just storming through teams. I already went through their X factors. I doubt they'll have any new ones. We still could check. Justin Simmons, Bradley Chubb, Drew Locke. Um, I feel like this is a new one. Troy 
Beeson? Basin? I almost said Beanson. But yeah, I feel like that's a new one. That's interesting. Hey, and if you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are on the road with 75 subscribers. We are currently at 53 as I recorded. I guess I had a video come out today. It doesn't matter to you guys because you guys are seeing this in like... Oh, it is March today. It's actually March 1st today. You guys are probably going to see this in like... I don't know. I don't know. Just not now. <laughs> or today. Oh, but yeah. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Show some support. Appreciate it all. But what I appreciate more is Justin Herbert having better games. No inceptions. And inceptions are always the stupid things. It's like I see everybody blitzing, so I throw it. And guess who incepts me? Someone playing on the line. If you're playing on a line on a two, and, 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 and that, you know the stance. I don't know the stance, what it's called. It's like called a two-point stance or some shit like that, three-point stance. If you're standing on the line in that, you should not be able to back up quick enough to intercept the ball. Bro, I have quick draw. I have gunslinger. I have all these abilities to make you throw the ball quicker, and it's still getting intercepted. I don't get it. And they're making these acrobatic plays. Like, come on, bro. And look at us, undefeated. We could have undefeated season. We probably won't, but we could. We destroyed against this team last time, dude. I'm trying to think what teams we'd be struggling against, and I think this is definitely one of them. Drew Lock. They have Cam Chance. That's not Cam Chancellor. That cannot be Cam Chancellor. 15 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, over 2,000 yards. Not horrible, but. You know, he's playing better than Justin Herbert, apparently. We are blitzing them. I try to hit him for no reason. All right, fellas, let's get in, let's get in, let's get in. Let's see what they call here. That's definitely me, bro. First down, Broncos. And, bruh, we're not getting in to stop these runs at all. Good shit, Chen Nawosu. Don't think it was a loss. Actually, it was a loss. Oh, good sack. Chen Nawosu. He brought down the lineman and the quarterback. Oh, my God. Chen Nawosu. Let's not give up 14 yards. Don't even give up 10. Can we bring him down? Thank you. All right, I think they're not in field goal range. At least they shouldn't be. Yeah, they're not. So, once again... Defense does not really get demanding stops, but the stops are there. They're definitely there. So the type of season Justin Herbert's having is a bad one. So as you guys didn't see last week's game, you're going to compare eight week, week eight stats to week 10 stats. 15 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. I don't know. It's just decision making, man. That's all it comes down to. With a good game here, you get over a thousand yards in the season. See what happens. Oh my god, why did I throw that? It's a real question on why I threw that. It was no reason to do it. Oh, what, 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 what is this? Oh my god, there was real no reason to do that. I have another inception in the air, bro. I just don't know what's, what's going through the mind. Oh, what an intro, Troy. 
Good shit, Troy. And I didn't forget to mention. Oh, I think I mentioned this last week. Obviously, oh, didn't get to hear me mention last week. Um, we switched like some middle linebacker position or some linebackers. We put Derwin James and Troy Apke there. I put Troy Apke there because he has really good speed and his zone is not horrible. And he's not really going to be playing at free safety a whole lot anyways. And one of their linemen is injured. I love it. There we go. Nice runs. There we go. Can I get a block, fellas? Fucking hell. I hate when y'all do that shit. Like, I just stand around looking at me. Alright, on the three. We get the rush just in. Or throw it. We don't know what we're gonna do. Ah, I probably should never win this formation. We're kind of forced to run. Wow, alright. Delay game. Moving back five yards now. Alright, right back where we were. Would it be smart to go for this? And, okay. I'm taking too long to call my plays, man. There's no way that um, that middle linebacker on the left side can get to my, to get to Doreen before I can. Wait, who is the X Factor guarding him? I don't know. Can't be intercepted, though. Beautiful. I just noticed that. <laughs> I was in the zone. But who was the X Factor guarding Dorian, though? I really don't know. I don't remember them having the X Factor. Oh, Simmons. That's who that is. Good throw, though. Really good throw. Drew Locke having a, a game 12 yards, one interception, four of six for throwing. Gosh, bro, are you serious? <sighs> this is annoying. So annoying, bro. It's alright. It happens. Shit like that be happening. Like, I think that was a counter and just to the house. It's alright. We'll recover, hopefully. Come on. Oh my god, what a throw. There's that's crazy. I just like directed him upfield and he really caught that. Can I get a replay at least? Thank you. What a throw. I wonder if they'll be willing to review it. No. They said review what? And I agree. Review what? Run around everybody. There you go, Dorian. Good play. Might actually rush this in right here. What are you coming out in? Look at this is a heavy formation. But I'm not scared. Easy, Kareem. That's how we come not come back. That's how we bounce back from giving up a touchdown. Get some nice big plays. Rushing touchdown of your own. Now he has 12 on the year. It's going to put us up 14 to 7. Defense. Let's play it. Oh my 
my god. How did Derwin get burned? Yo, Derwin got burned by Noah Fant? You're a victim. Mm -hmm. Noah Fant just burned Derwin. Worse. Noah Fant just burned Derwin James. Good catch. Come on. That's too easy for him. One on one, y'all gonna have to get somebody on him. First down. Dorian's in the zone, I just noticed that. Third in inches. Just gotta run right here. Really could go one on one, but we're not gonna do that. All right, first down. Easy. Every time, bro. Every time we're gonna go to that. Best receiver in the world. I seen one on one. I see them trying to double. Really trying to triple, <laughs> but no, that's too easy. One handed catch. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna put us twenty-one to fourteen. So I kind of understand how these uh, double me abilities work. So what they want you to do is, if you do target him, you do have to catch it though. Like that's what they definitely want it to happen. Like if it's if you throw the ball to him, he has to catch it to stay in the zone. If you throw the ball, he misses. He doesn't catch it. That zone is going away. You could throw to other people, but you have three chances. I, I kind of understand it, because before I was like, yo, this ability's kind of trash, blah, blah, you feel me? I wasn't really getting it, but now, I get it. How did he almost break off for that? Here it has over 100 rushing yards. We're blitzing, we're blitzing. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, we'll take that. Even though that was, <laughs> that was a weird ass play. Let's see what gets open. Oh my god! How did it become triple? That ball was. It was Bagley. Bagley was in the game for some reason. What? You gonna cry? No. No. Go ahead, cry. Let me see you. Let me see you cry. <laughs> This is what I mean. This is exactly what the fuck I mean. Why is Bagley in the game at all? Like, this shit does not make sense. This is what makes me hate Madden, bro. Like, he should not be in the game under no formation. Good catch. Did he catch that again? There's no way I wasn't in. I didn't want to go possession because I feel like if I went possession, it would have been in too. Maybe I should have. He had a step on him. Oh my god, you have to drag that second foot, bro. Good. Dorian is going to make it happen for us. Dorian probably has a lot of catches today. Of course it's not. Can we tackle him? Another turnover. It's all right. I forgot it was even the two minute warning. Oh, wow. Horrible screenplay. I wasn't paying attention to that, and they still didn't get it. We'll call timeout, and we'll get ball back, and we might score, depending how we handle it. 
Getting points right here would be kind of huge because we do get ball at half. I I really forgot <laughs> that it was a two minute one when we just had the ball. And I was just playing like it was nothing. Like I didn't care. Did he get out? I don't know if he got out. The clock isn't running. Good catch. Good way to fight. That's our last time out right there. Um, I might take one shot to the end zone. And then kick my field goal. This might be a bad throw. Horrible throw. How did he catch that? Um, doesn't even matter, does it? That's a safety. How is that not a safety? He didn't gain anything. Okay. Whatever, whatever. That's literally a safety, bro. Right, there's a flag. Please do not be a push in the back. Holding. Thank you. We actually get to a decent spot on the field. And you're like, no, what? We're gonna just hold. I really ever take the ball out. I don't care to do that. Nobody wants to block. Good tackle for loss. All right, coverage time. 11 yards, people. Do not give up 11 yards. Good. Give us the ball back. Dorian Doe is having a good game, though. Justin Herbert is, uh, I wouldn't say struggling, but, you know, it's not having that game that he needs to have. So Dorian has three touchdowns? Maybe two. I think he has two. Bro, we cannot run on this shit. At all. We get a little bit of yards and it's like, oh yeah, you, you had your fun. No, bro. That shit is annoying. Come on, keep running. There you go. Joe Reed. Big yards right there. Justin Herbert has a 300-yard game right now. Also has two interceptions, two touchdowns. And I'm not excelling until I get to the hole. Is that not what you're supposed to do? Like, I can't just walk through that. That's literally impossible. Good break tackle, but my nigga blocks. Come on. I need blocks. Good catch. Who else but Dorian? In the zone now. We're actually going to run the ball here and then probably pass. Looks like they're actually um, blitzing. Oh my gosh, bro. Like right when I'm about to fucking throw it. I swear, it never fails. And I'm out the zone. Good fucking catch. Because you kind of went up like you didn't want to get it. I'm not going to lie to you. You really went up with that ball like you didn't want it. Like, look the way he went up. I'm like, yeah, this is getting knocked down. Like, that, that really should have been knocked down. You lollygagging in the air, bro. Come down tight with it. Secure that. 28 to 14. Yeah, I think he got, like... Over 100 yards, he hasn't really been running the ball per se well. Good tag on the channel.
This is what they're doing. They're going short. 813, 91 yards. One touchdown, one into. You have no offense. And the thing about Madden, you cannot change a quarterback's decision making. That's the game. That's literally just the game. It's not it has nothing to do with the, the squatters you put. Can you go with QB accuracy on a thousand or one? They're still gonna dot you up. I can't run. Cannot run today. Good catch, Hunter. Threw that ball so quick. Let's see what Hunter Henry gets. What do you know? One-on-one. -on -one. Make a play. You have double me. And they didn't double you. What are these abilities for? Like, I really would like to know. I'm so over this game. Somebody was rushing the quarterback and they stopped. Was it me who switched on? I could promise you that. They just stopped. Oh my gosh, bro. That's us as a knockdown. And we have better receivers than you guys. Better everything. Like, you keep going to the same spots. Nothing's over, open over the middle. You go straight to the sideline. That shit is so home. Bro, like, what? Come on. This shit's annoying. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Give me that shit. That shit is so annoying. This is what I mean. Quentin Nelson, stop doubling. Block the guy in front of you. We do not need a double right now. Good catch. Run the ball a little bit right here. Uh, let's start down. Let me... Let's see if we can get it. Bro. There's a little wide open hole, but somehow they just always, 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 always close a hole as soon as you're coming through it. You don't come through that hole, that hole's going to be wide open. Just that speed doesn't have that speed. Not even close where it's supposed to be. Was that really cross? I guess it was cross water. Touchdown. Let's go. That says what? Might be his fourth touchdown out of the game. No, no, I can't because doesn't Herbert has four touchdowns? Does he? I don't know. Definitely third then. Third touchdown with a lot of yards. And this is how we kind of break away from teams, man. You know, that's what happens. Like I'm not saying certain situations you should go for it all the time, but. Go for a little bit more. Like, if I feel like I'm never going to see the ball, not again, but if I don't get this, it's going to put the game out of reach. Then I'm definitely going. Come on, bro. Um, Yeah. If I feel like I need to go for it, I will. And sometimes they do need to go for it, and they just don't. Bro, where am I?
What an Into, Denario. No, that's not Denario. That was Mosley. I never expect Mosley to make a play like that, and that's probably game. We can definitely put it out of reach now. Well, it is out of reach. It's like we can definitely take it home now. That's what I meant to say. And just like we're not going to call timeouts. Just need nine more yards. I think we get nine. I don't like running to. I'm gonna run to his left side. I just don't. For some reason, the the left, the right side just doesn't appeal to me ever. He put the ball on the ground. I don't know if he really did. I would have to see. Can I see when he got hit though? Yeah, we're 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 reviewing that. You almost gave them life. And the clock is still running. What is that? Oh, that's a hundred. There we go. Nice one, fellas. There we go. Touchdown. Just for good measure. Just get our stats up a little bit. There we go. Dominating win. Very, very dominating win. And my laptop was about to die. Right at the end. Good thing I caught it. Just look at these stats. Justin Herbert threw... For 306... Okay. Did Herbert do for almost 400 yards, 397 yards, five touchdowns, three interceptions. Drew Locke threw for 153, one, one touchdown, three interceptions. Uh, Marvin, Marvin, who's Marvin? Michael Bagley, for some reason he comes in the game and I don't notice it. I don't know why it does that. I need to start paying attention, I guess. Whatever. Uh, Kareem Hunt had 100 rushing yards and one touchdown. 3.5 on the ground. Rashad Penny, who was very dominant, but we... After he got that big game for the touchdown, he just never did it again. Just never got that run going again. We kind of shut him down. Dorian Dale with a big game. 10 catches, 228 yards, 3 touchdowns. I didn't realize he was throwing the ball that. I knew he was throwing the ball a lot. So I was like, he probably has like 170 yards. Nope, 228. A lot. 3 touchdowns. Uh, no offense. Uh, 4 catches, 84, 87 yards. He got that big burn on Derwin James. Um... Second half, and might be the first quarter. It was it was, it was in the first half, for sure. Uh, Joe Reed got that uh, three yard catch. Hunter Henry got him involved a little bit more. And, you know, we just put the ball out pretty decently. And defensively, the only person I could really point out defensively, Chandler Wolves had a, a nice one. Uh, Tackles were lost. Chandler Wolves was there. Jerry Tillery was there. Matt Bryant, Derwin James, Emmanuel Mosley, and Aloy Gilman. Who, who had an intro on our team? Bryce Callahan helped two intros for them. Carter Allen, which shouldn't be an intro because it was Hunter Henry one on one with double me activated. Whatever. Derwin James had one, Emmanuel Mosley had one, and Troy Apke had one. I like Troy Apke at middle linebacker. He's very athletic. I really like that. So yeah, we'll try to find a screenshot for Dorian and we'll get out of here. Another big divisional win. Next week, we are switching conferences to face the Vikings. Let's move on to week 11. And yeah, we're facing the X-Factor DB. X-Factor halfback. It's going to be a tough game, but they are 1-8, so <laughs> what does it really matter, right? Dorian Dale did get player of the week. And, uh, yeah. Um, let's check if any of our MVP stuff changed. We are third in offensive yards. And uh, first in defensive yards. So we're a top 10 team. Kareem Hunt is first in rushing and first in um, touchdowns. That's what I wanted to say. Kareem Hunt is still number two in MVP race. Very impressive to have him in there. Um, probably won't be seeing what's his name. 
So he, he will, will offer to play the if he does keep up this um this uh whatever he's doing. Defense player, I don't think we have one. We probably do not have one. Kevin Smith Jr. is the only close one. He's not gonna get that. Defensive rookie, Trayvon Tap, probably not gonna do that. Our best QB. Nope. So no, we probably not gonna have offense player. We know Dorian Dell is fantastic. He has most rushing yards, most touchdowns, and most carries. Good shit, Kareem Hunt. And Dorian Dell was first in receiving yards, second in touchdowns, and top five in receptions. Doesn't really matter receptions, it really matters how many yards you get on the play. So that that was really good. That, that's a really good week. Uh it's a good place to wrap it up. You got a lot to look forward to in next week. Not really. We're facing one name Vikings. <laughs> Can't really hype that up too much. But they 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 could beat the undefeated team. They could be the team. They could be the one in sixteen and one. Or fifteen and one. Potentially. Who knows? Anyways, if you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you next video. But until next video. Peace. I'm a lot taller in person. Take a bad hoe with me on the skirt. Get a new four with the skirt. I'ma do what I want, I deserve. I don't believe in coincidence. Everything hit for a purpose. Off the rats, nigga, you had emerged. Got a party bitch in that hoe, always be dirt.